The coronavirus pandemic sparked one of the deadliest phases in U.S. employment history. But now, as America marches towards normalcy, things have started looking better. On Friday, America registered a decline in unemployment figures. We on correspondent Susan Tehrani brings us this report. While millions of unemployed Americans are still opting to stay home because of child care issues, generous government unemployment checks and lingering fears over COVID-19, despite a vaccine rollout, there may be reason for optimism after reports that the U.S. job growth improved slightly in the month of May. U.S. employers increased hiring and raised wages to attract employees. The total number of jobs rose by 559,000 in May, much faster compared to the 278,000 in April. When you look at the numbers, you know, 500,000 workers on average over the past several months is, is a really good performance for this economy. I mean, it's just not living up to the expectations uh, that people have had for the economy in terms of developing a million workers per month. But when you consider the fact that a lot of the businesses um, were shuttered as of COVID and haven't come back yet, um, and there's still this expanded unemployment benefit that's you know, keeping some workers from coming back into the labor force, filling the jobs where there are openings. Um, it, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of the best you can expect out of an economy that's been given $2.8 trillion in stimulus. The unemployment rate hit a fresh pandemic era low of 5.8 percent, with 496,000 fewer people being considered unemployed. An average hourly rate earnings rose 2 percent from this time last year during the height of lockdowns across the country. Leisure and hospitality led the pickup in hiring with 292,000 new jobs gained. Two thirds of those gains happened at food and drinking places despite widespread complaints of worker shortages. Jonathan Mendez, who works at a restaurant near Times Square in New York City, says there's just simply not enough workers. We get this to pay for one, but we have to clean, we have to fill up, we have to clean the bar, make the drinks. Uh, believe it or not, we have to take the, the garbage and put it out every night. So now I cannot say like a server because I'm doing everything. Everybody's doing everything because that's the situation right now. One of the reasons attracting workers back has been such a big challenge, even for the hospitality industry, is because they are now competing against a very costly federal unemployment compensation program that many economists agree are keeping people on the sidelines. And as for Wall Street, the feds want to see a strong burst of hiring before it changes its monetary policy stance. This report, while decent, doesn't satisfy that. While the U.S. economy seems to be on the road to recovery, experts and investors believe it will take at least 12 to 13 months before a definitive assessment can be made. Susan Tehrani from New York for Weon, World is One. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.